Hi, this is Aurora from SuperchargedMath.com. Now, if you're having a hard time with math, you're in the right place because this is where we take the challenging um, math concepts and we make them easy. So if you want to learn math the easy way, just visit SuperchargedMath.com. Okay, let's get started. So here we go. Fractions are, okay, well, let's back up. Numbers like zero, one, two, three, four, those are whole numbers. Whole numbers count units of things, right? Like one cake, five pizzas, seven sets of nostrils. So if you only want part of a unit, then you have to start talking about fractions. Do you see them there? You, one, pizza, one pizza might have eight different slices, or it could have 10 slices, or it could have 12, right? You decide how much the whole is and sometimes you also get to decide how big those slices are. So a fraction, do you see them on the slide? Can you say them out loud? Yeah, so one half is the one with the slash and the two, right? And, or one third, one fourth, three fourths. Those are part, they're not entirely one, right? A half of a dollar, a third of a dollar. No, that's kind of a weird analogy. Don't, don't pay attention to that. Okay, so sometimes you can control the pieces, right? But it's not always easy to do that. Look at the carton of eggs. Do you see the eggs? Okay, if you had a dozen eggs, you would have 12 eggs. Could you divide it evenly among five people? Yes or no? I mean, you'd have to break some, sure, but you couldn't divide 12 eggs among five people evenly. It doesn't work, right? If you had three people, then yeah, no problem. Everybody gets four, but you can't, you'd have to break a few, right, to make it even because if it's not fair, you know what happens with like little kids and fair? Yeah, somebody's crying if somebody else has somebody some more than yours, right? Okay, so let's take a look at this slide. What do you notice? Okay, so there are different amounts of things, right? So point to the one that's a whole. Okay, so that should be the circle. There's three of them. Did you catch that? Okay, so this is one whole, one whole. This is a pizza where you've eaten all of them. It was divided into threes, but you were really hungry and you ate all three. So three thirds is here. Sometimes people also call that a whole. So that's kind of a tricky one. All right, can you point to the one that's one fourth or one quarter? Which one is that? Okay, there's two of them. This one, one fourth, one fourth. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And what about if I want it, suppose you and I, we made a giant, you ever made a chocolate chip cookie the size of a pizza? We did that one time uh, for a birthday party. And it was just me and my son. So you tell me, how did I divide that up? There were two of us. And we made a huge cookie. No kidding. Yeah, I, I know. He was like so excited. He was like six, I think. So what would I do if I wanted it to be fair? Yeah, I'd slice that thing in half, right? So point to which one that would look like. Okay, good. Yeah, it would look like this one, the one half. What if somebody else came over? So now there's three of us. Yeah? How many pieces do we need for three friends to all... for um? for three people to have the same amount. Can you put it on there? Yeah, it would be have to divide it into thirds. So the, um, the way you divide it depends on, well, how, how are we using it? And that's where it comes up in science all the time. Sometimes we need a dozen, sometimes we need a hundred, sometimes we only need like a weird number, like 17. So that will determine the number of segments that you have, depending on how you wanna use it. Make sense so far? By the way, if you would like to learn more by doing fractions the easy way, I'm actually giving an entire class on it for free. Just click the link below. It's in the description. It's also in the comments. Or simply go to getmath.net slash fractions. Okay, let's continue. So let's take a look. Do you see my screen here? I'm going to make it nice and big. Okay. Can you point out and tell me how many holes are on here? How many? Take a good look. Take a good look. Okay. How many holes do you see? Not H-O-L-E, not like a hole, like you punched a hole through something, but like a hole, like an entire thing. Like you'd want to eat the whole thing. How many do you see? Oh, okay. Do you see some? Okay, you see a couple of them. All right, two, you see more than two? How about those? You see those? Okay, where are the rest? Yeah, there's more holes, aren't there? Ah, there's more. Where are they? They're hiding. Can you find one more? Maybe a triangle one or two triangle ones? Yeah. How about, did you get any of these? You found a couple. <laughs> yes, that's awesome. Great, great job. If you missed a few, no worries. That's what we're, that's we're all here to learn. Okay, so my next question is, okay, 
Can you find the ones that would um, for, that would be good for just a slice in half? So where are all the halves? You and me, we're sharing a giant cookie, and I made the cookies different shapes. So what do you think? You and me, and I, I want it to be fair. You get some, and I get some. Can you find all the halves? How many do you think there are? Okay, a couple, a few. <laughs> more than two? Yes, there's more than two. Good. Okay. All right, let's see. Take a look. Did you get them? Ooh, did you miss one? That's okay. That's okay. As long as you got one, even if you just got that big one up here, the big pizza. Okay, good, good, good. Should we try one more? How about this one? Take a look at the quarters. You see how I've got the quarters outlined? Those are all quarters, right? So now we have four people and everybody wants a piece. Why is this one not included? Take a look at this one. See the star? Why is that one not included? Here, I'm circling it with my mouse. It's on almost the last row. It's the star. How many pieces are in the star? Yeah, there's five, right? Okay. So we have quarters. Yep. So if we had more than four, if we had five people, how would we divide among five people easily? Well, we could do this one. We could do this one. But notice I didn't say find the fifths. I said how would you divide this among five people easily? How come I have both of these done? Take a look. This is divided into five. This is divided into 10. How many pieces of this cookie would you get? Would each person get? Would they get one slice like this one or would they get more? Yeah, this is divided into 10. Yeah, so everybody would get two pieces. And do you see how the two pieces is the same as this? Yeah, if you put two pieces together, same thing here. Okay, this one's also divided by 10. And look, we each get a piece of the star. And we also get two pieces of the star. Now, if your kids have been frustrated with fractions and you'd like your child to learn the easy way, I want to invite you to a free class on fractions that I'm giving. Now, you can register at no charge by clicking the link below in the description. It's also in the comments. Or simply go to getmath.net slash fractions.